Hello, hello. Welcome everybody. Welcome to our conversation on uncovering and healing your money blocks, the pricing and increasing the profit in your business. My name is Louisa Havers and I help entrepreneurs and coaches break through their um, upper limits in life and in business. I'm so excited to be here. As you're joining us, do say hello. I can say hello back. See that you are tuning in, just getting everything set up so I can see you, see your comments. And of course, if you're catching the replay, please do hashtag replay so that I can circle back and I'll come and say hello to you. They were talking about the energetic resistances that can come up when we're pricing our services. And this obviously has a huge impact on our profit, on our speed of growth, our capacity, our energy, our time, resources for life and creates and the impact that we can then create in the world as well with our with our businesses and being able to then have more money to invest back in the business when we're in a growth phase. So this is a huge, huge conversation and it, it is my intention that this will serve you. This is based on all my experience with helping my multi six and seven figure clients move through their stickiness so that their blind spots, their reversed energy, their resistances don't impact their, their pricing and profit. So hi, Julie. Thank you so much for arranging this incredible summit. It's just been absolutely wonderful. The lineup of speakers is incredible. And you've just created every avenue of support for everybody in business. So just a huge shout out to, to Julie. Thank you so much for, for bringing everybody together. And for those of you that are tuning in, we'd love to know, have you caught the speakers from yesterday? Have you been tuning in today? I know we had Wendy earlier. We've got Jennifer later. I hope that you are able to, to catch everybody. I know that the replays all them in the guide section so so organized <laughs> it's fantastic and I know that Julie's created the opportunity for you to purchase a backstage pass so that we can all carry on the conversation in private zoom rooms over the coming weeks so hope to see you there really looking forward to continuing the conversation there Alrighty. so for those of you that I have yet to meet I'll just share a little bit about my personal story as we're getting to know each other here so my background is I used to be a senior manager in social services, and I did that for 13 years, too long. <laughs> and I led on developing multi-million pound services. And I did love the autonomy that I had within it and what I could create. And the bit that I most of all enjoyed was helping people to flourish. And I discovered that my favorite bit of that was coaching people and seeing people expand beyond what they had originally thought was possible. And along, along the way, there's been two key turning points for me when I look back. One was my father's death in 2004 when he was ill health retired and he died after a long period of ill health. So he never got the retirement that he'd planned for. And he'd been saving up all the things that he was going to do for when he'd retired. And this really just started gnawing away at me. <laughs> Have you had that feeling? And I just thought, oh, my God, I'm kind of recreating what he did. I'm on this same corporate hamster wheel and I'm likely to end up the same if I don't take really scary action <laughs> and find out what I really want to do with my life and then actually go and do it. And then the second one was we had had pay freezes um, for over eight years in, in social services for the senior managers. And that really kicked me into gear into being creative as to how can I give myself a pay rise? You know, I'd been in that space of thinking, I want my own business, but what will it be in? And I was living in the energy of this question. I didn't realize I was actually manifesting an opportunity at that, at that time because I was literally just pondering the question completely unattached to the outcome. And then it literally just dropped in a few weeks later when a health and wellness network marketing opportunity was shared with me. And I was like, oh, this is perfect. I can fit it around everything else that I'm doing. I don't have to commute. I can do this from home. And it just opened up my mindset to being able to do things in a different way. And it, and it really did that, you know, for me within the year, I've been able to reduce my hours at work, giving myself the pay rise that I was looking for and be able to start to see a different way forward and to transition out of employment into having my own coaching business. And when I finally left, 
the thing that really surprised me, and I'd love to know your thoughts in relation to this as well, was what came up for me around my identity. And at the time, I thought I was handling it really badly, but actually everything that came up for me was just the usual part of transitioning from one from one identity to another. You know, I'd done all the sensible things like negotiating a redundancy package, package so I could have some income to support my family whilst I was growing my business. And I'd been growing my network marketing income stream whilst I was working corporate and I'd grown it so that I could reduce my hours at work. So I was getting all the you know practical things set up so I could feel safe to transition. Truth is, I was my soul was calling me, but I was terrified. I, you know, I just knew though that I had to do this for me. So my desire for for more was stronger than that contracted feeling of staying and just doing what I knew was familiar. And I just wanted more out of life. And so I threw myself into it and I got all the support that I could get in um, in terms of coaching and everything and just open myself up to this whole new world <laughs> that was so different to where I'd come from in the in the public sector. And what I hadn't anticipated as I transitioned was in terms of the growth was moving from one identity to the next. Have you recognized that when you've been evolving through different phases in your life that when your identity changes and how you felt about that? Was it easy? Did you feel like you had grief for your old identity? So for me, I had real grief for my old identity after I left. I really didn't expect that. I felt completely unanchored as I had no longer had this role that I'd literally wrapped up my whole identity in. And so I um, started the journey of who, who was I really? And I found that every stage I've moved through in, in business has required a new identity for me to be fully, fully embodied in that identity. And I see this with my clients too. This is a key part of you know the work that we do together. And we get to enjoy that transition and evolve over those different versions of ourselves as we're growing, you know, whether you're growing to that first six figures, growing to multi six figures, seven figures, eight figures, wherever you're at with your with your business. Each level is going to require a different version of ourselves and a, a, a different identity. Does that make sense? So for me, this this was a huge piece. And I know when I look back. I was contracted back then and I took many actions for my business that weren't in alignment with who I was. You know, and I was learning loads of different skills and all the things and really finding my feet. But I wasn't embodied in the identity of being a self-employed business owner running a successful business. And what I've learned is that, you know, we need to teach our body what it feels like to be our future self. So our cells know what it feels like to be that version of ourselves. And then it will be inevitable that we will become that. It starts with our vision of self, recreating our identity. These are the two pieces to breaking through to those upper limits that we um, have in life. There's the, the breakthrough and then the holding it so that we don't contract back. And we do this through changing our identity, emotions, beliefs that will then change our actions, changing our perception and expectation of our reality. And this is where being able to unlock our subconscious, our subconscious is held in our body. So this is where and we're going to dive into this today. Being able to do muscle testing is just such a great way to find out what is going on. And I invite you to think about this, um, to see where this has bubbled up for you in, in your business. A client recently was reflecting on a breakthrough that she'd had, and she'd had her first 100k month. And what was different for her was she was reflected back that in her reality, suddenly Facebook ads were easy. And she said it was easier to deal with Facebook ads when they were being tricky and difficult because she knew that they weren't working. They were being rejected and she could hold the frequency of, of the, the struggle and the having to figure things out and sorting out, out all the sort of fiddly bits that come along with um, Facebook ads. But when everything was going through and it was flowing and they were getting approved and that the cost was really low, her body was going, hang on, how do I hold this frequency? Does that make sense? It was like her body actually wanted to go back to what was feeling familiar, which was it feeling a bit trickier. Does that make sense? Have you ever recognized that you felt like your body has literally pulled you back to familiarity right down to that cellular level? Let me know in the comments if you've recognized that where 
flows flowing and then suddenly you're like oh what am I doing <laughs> where did it go what's happened why did I just take action on that why did I just do that massive discount on everything or why did I just leave everything until the last minute and not allow enough time to market this offer or this product why did I price it at that point <laughs> what am I doing what is going on in my in my subconscious so this training is for you if you've ever, ever felt wonky when you're considering your pricing for your programs. Perhaps you're in a space where you know it's time to raise your prices or if you're feeling you're ready to move into selling high ticket. Depends what, of course, what your what your business is, what products you're selling. Perhaps you let us know in the comments if you're up for it, the prices that you're currently um, offering for your for your products and services so are you wanting to raise your prices are you wanting to move to selling 3k plus programs 10k 30k plus programs anywhere you're feeling like you know what charging less is just not working for me anymore this is for you if you've realized you've been undercharging and I really want you to walk away with this is when you undercharge you are actually stealing from yourself and you're ready to not let that happen anymore. Yeah, time to raise. We want to be in that place where we're embodied with the price. Our body's not going to try and put us back. And we know that the return on investment that our clients get, our customers get, is just insanely good. So it's a win-win for our client, for our customer, for us. And the price feels good in your body. And you feel that you've got the capacity to deliver the results, to feel energized, not drained. And to be able to meet, you know, your own business revenue goals as well. So you've got the energy to deliver, to make the impact that you desire. Because the thing is, there's so many factors that go into this that can bubble up and create resistance in pricing, which then ultimately impacts our profit in business. It can be so many beliefs, belief in yourself who you be, whether you feel worthy or deserving of the pricing and all the stories that we can have around that, belief in your clients who you're working with, belief in your method, but having 100%, 150% belief that your method is the way for your clients to get the results and their return on investment. Beliefs, we can have so many beliefs, beliefs in marketing. Do you believe it's easier to sell high ticket, such as 10K plus programs, or do you believe it's easier to sell low ticket? Or do you tell yourself, I don't have those beliefs? But what does your subconscious believe? And not easily, not fully realizing the return of investment that your clients get is often a, a reason why people undercharge. So if you've got a business coaching program and your clients, let's say, just to give you this as an example, let's say your clients invest 20K with you for a six month period, and then they go on to make conservative you know round up here 100k a year over the next 10 years their return on investment is a million that's a bargain for their initial investment you know they aren't paying you for length of time in the container they're paying paying and investing in themselves to become that version of themselves for life and that ripple effect is going to create across the rest of their lives so we want to know and be fully embodied in our return on an investment for our, our customers and our clients so that we can be fully aligned with our pricing. The other blind spots that can come up is including not considering the impact on your capacity so that you start to feel an energy drain in relation to the amount of work that you potentially could take on. Your body will know. So if you're feeling resistance, to taking action to the marketing taking you know showing up doing a facebook live whatever it may be the resistance will be bubbling up your body will know you'll be feeling this resistance and the price is wrong because you can feel you might be feeling like oh my god thank god nobody bought because actually i feel completely drained i haven't got capacity to deliver at that at that price and you suddenly realize oh hang on i've shortchanged myself does that make sense has anyone recognized whoops I've undercharged. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you've ever found after you've um, implemented a program, offered a program, suddenly realized, oh, hang on a second. I need to raise my raise my rate. So this feels good for me and good for my good for my clients and customers as well. The other blind spots that um, can come up in relation to um, pricing and profit is 
when we're out of alignment with the strategy that we're implementing, we don't really want to then show up in that way. And so we will start to create all sorts of other problems that can divert our attention so that we're focusing on that thing and not on the thing that is going to resolve the issue. So this is where we can add complexity to our businesses that we don't really need because of the subconscious beliefs that we're holding. And this one, I invite you to contemplate as well. This is a huge blind spot for people in our wealth consciousness and shows up in how our relationship with pricing is our relationship with speed. And being afraid of things happening more quickly. Money coming in like fast is a huge amount of energy. And so being able to hold that influx of energy so it's going to be different for different people. 100K coming in on one day, the first time that happens is going to feel huge. Second time, your body's like, yeah, I've got this. I've done this before. <laughs> Unless it felt like a trauma response from it, in which case it might reject it. It can feel like a shock to the energy system when it comes in. So have, has your energy field got the capacity to hold a surge of money coming in? Does this make sense? When you think of perhaps when you've had your biggest surges of money coming in, how did your body feel? Did you feel like you could hold it? What stories did you then tell yourself as a result of that? So this is where we can identify where we've re reached our capacity for allowing more money in and this limit that we've subconsciously set for ourselves. This then creates this energetic resistance and energetic reversals and resistances come up from previous financial trauma from this can be from our own experiences of course our experiences of seeing financial traumas for other people parents family members colleagues media programming all the things so we've got a lot of programming coming in onto our consciousness and our subconscious is making sense of it and, of course, wanting to keep us safe all the time. And then off, off that, we start to create our behaviours. Money can be, you know, it's a hot topic and it can be the biggest stress for so many people, so many entrepreneurs and CEOs. So let's take a, a, a pulse check now. And I'm going to invite you to think about where you're at with your pricing and profit. So on a scale of one to ten. Do you feel you're fully aligned and embodied with your pricing? So they feel right for where you're at in your business. So one being not at all, 10 being 100%, it's perfect. It's a win-win for my clients and for me. I feel energized. And then on a scale of one to 10, are you feeling aligned with the amount of profit that you have? Are you feeling like, yes, this is perfect. So again, one being not at all, 10 being it's it's 100%. It's perfect. The profit that I have is brilliant. I've got surplus at the end of the month to invest in growth in the business or for dividends as the CEO or to hire my next team member. I can see the growth coming in for my next hire so you can plan ahead. It's feeling exciting. The profit's there. And then on a scale of one to 10, are you happy with the time balance of your business and life? Again, one being not at all. Business is just completely taken over as I'm working all the hours to make the profit that I desire. So it's like you've had to sacrifice something. And then 10 would be perfect. My prices mean that I have that balance to do the things I love. My clients are getting great results. I'm able to be present in my moment, in the moment with all the, all the things that I'm doing, whether it's spending time with family members, relaxing, you can be present in the moment because uh, you've got your time balanced out you're not having to worry and think about what's going on in the business okay this is great keep them coming in this is a, a really good pulse check and then I'm going to invite you to think of your pricing do you desire to raise your prices let me know yes no pop it in the comments and if you haven't done it yet what are you telling yourself is the reason why.
And the other question I'm just going to invite you to contemplate as you're thinking about, okay, so why am I telling myself I can't raise my prices? What's the story here? And we're going to start to dig in later to think about, okay, what are the beliefs behind this story? Is this really true? Is how would it feel to energetically hold more profit in your business? To be able to have the energetic capacity to hold it, hold that energy. Yeah, I'm telling myself my clients were pet. That's a, a really, really common one. Does that pop up um, every time you're considering raising your prices or is it a new one that's come in at this moment in time? We're going to flush, flush these ones out. So everyone joining the replay as well, let us know in the comments, what are the beliefs, the stories that you're telling yourself about why you can't raise your prices? We want to be aligned with our pricing. As entrepreneurs, we create our own economy and it comes down to our frequency, our energy. I'm inviting you to consider your energy as part of your, is your strategy, part of your business strategy for your profit and growth. We want to have that and create that aligned success. And for me, aligned success is having that feeling that just all aspects of your business growth are aligned. Success is, is winning for everybody. The customers are winning, you're winning, the team's winning and your profit your bottom line is winning and you've got you know that balance and harmony across all areas of your life so there's a whole load of stuff going on in our energy fields and this is really important to become aware of as we're thinking about how we can move into that space so that our frequency is doing the heavy lifting we're in alignment with how we're showing up and the prices that we have have got for our services because then we'll be more magnetic and people will be coming in and stepping in more, more easily because our frequency is in alignment rather than creating this kind of incoherence in the in the energy field. And it starts with creating an embodied identity and being in alignment with all levels of our consciousness so that we're in resonance, we're that energetic match to that which we desire. Because it really is, it's your identity that creates the paradigms, the concepts, these groups of beliefs and these beliefs and your emotions and feelings then inform your behavior and action. And then your experiences feed back and reinforce these behaviors, these emotions, beliefs, concepts, and identity. And all together, all of this creates your reality and your experience. So I see it like a feedback loop, what we're vibrating out into our, from our human Wi-Fi, ultimately from our identity, our consciousness, and then attracting back to us through reality. And we continue to do so without conscious change to what we want to create. So it's our consciousness that we need to consider and the different layers of our consciousness. So our, we think of the iceberg of consciousness. So we have our conscious mind. That's where we're being intentional. We've got choice. We've got our subconscious where this is where all our habits, behaviors, values, actions, identity has the biggest impact on our outcomes and our choices in relation to whether we're going to raise our prices or not. And if we're disconnected from our higher self, we might think of this as the superconscious, then our subconscious mind is running the show. The conscious mind is going to think it is. And this is the thing. All of this is affecting our electromagnetic waves and the emotional state that you're in affects your electromagnetic waves that you're sending out into, into the universe. All of this is making up your, your human Wi-Fi, that frequency and vibration that you're sending out. If you think of this as, you know, all the reasons why we want more business growth, to raise our prices, to have more profit is held in our conscious mind. And then all the reasons why not are held in our subconscious mind. We all desire to succeed, to make a bigger impact, to be able to live at our highest potential. And then the different, our subconscious may be up to something else because it's simply trying to keep us safe in line with a, a, an old identity. And if we're disconnected from our higher self, then we haven't got the energetic support of our higher self on board for our manifesting. So if we're out of alignment with our higher self, this is where we can feel our conscious mind and our subconscious mind can be creating that feeling of, you know, when you're like driving down the road, you're like, I feel like I've got one foot on the brake and one foot on the pedal. And it's just like creating this push pull sensation. And we've created. If we think of this, you may recognize this where, you know, we've created our monthly goals. We've got the roadmap. The conscious mind knows where it's going. We've put in the coordinates as if, you know, we've got the sat nav 
GPS, take me here, take me to 2K months, take me to 10K months, take me to 30K months, 100K months, you know, wherever you're at in, in, in business. And then our subconscious can start to freak out and pull us back to that vibrational scale, back to that identity, back to our comfort zone. And that's where this fear bubbles up. These stories that we start telling ourselves, the monkey mind starts getting really active when we step out of our comfort zone, out of the identity that we currently hold. When we do that, we, we trigger our subconscious to start screaming at us to give us all the reasons why not to move forward, to keep us safe. So for me, the quickest way to shift all of this is to focus on your identity because we create reality in line with our identity and subconscious beliefs and programs that we're running. And by consciously creating your identity, you then you're letting go of old identity. So you're creating from the place of the identity, the self-concepts, the beliefs, the emotions, the energies of all of, all of this, of being the you that already has this. You're already the, the CEO that's already raised their prices and already selling, people are buying, and you're already fully booked. All the products have already sold out at this new price. It's at this level where energetically the core work is done, where we need to clear any sticky emotions because we can have split energy and when we're and changing paradigms um, as we are needing to move into becoming that vibrational match. And so this is really, really key, being able to. Find out what you truly value so you can have balance in all areas of your life. And a simple way to see if you're resisting your future self is finding the energetic block. That is the key to unlocking it so you can allow yourself to move forward with more flow because you want it to be easier. And this is where muscle testing is just so helpful. So let me know in the comments if you have done muscle testing before or if you're new to this. Say yes, done it before. No, new to muscle testing. And using muscle testing is a great way to find out what the subconscious, what your body is really thinking, because we can tell ourselves a whole bunch of stories of what we think it is. And then you muscle test, asking the right questions, and it can reveal something else. That makes sense. So to consciously work with your subconscious, you can find the hidden resistances that are masking who you truly are. And my favorite muscle testing technique is the sway technique. So if you're new to this, just to get everybody on the same page, this is where you're using your body like a dousing device. And by standing up, if you're able to stand, you stand up and you literally, your body's going to respond to what you say. So your body will respond moving forward, typically for a yes and backwards for a no. So if you've ever used a, a pendulum for dousing, you'll be familiar with this. Basically, you're using your body as a, as a dousing device. If you're unable to stand, you can do it sitting down. You just sit on the edge of your seat. And I'll just give you a, a quick way to do a baseline test if you haven't done this before. So if you give yourself a thymus thump, just to align your energies. So we're just going to instruct the subconscious what you're going to do. Just for 15 seconds and just breathing in for four, breathing out for four. And then I'm going to invite you to muscle test just to see what this feels like for you with things that you know to be true. So if you were to jump up, stand up with your knees and feet hip width apart, slightly soft, hands outside of your pocket. If you've got high heels on, take them off, be flat. You know, you need your feet flat on the ground. And then I invite you to close your eyes to become aware of your breath in your heart. So as if you're going within for meditation so that your head doesn't go, what are you doing? And then we're just going to muscle test with things that you know to be true. So you can see how your body responds to things that you know to be true that you're not attached to. So I invite you just to say things like your name, your age, the road that you live in. And then to say things, you know, not that aren't true, like. My name is Garfield. I have 100 children. <laughs> I'm 10 years old. So you can see what it feels like in your body when you go forwards for a yes and backwards for a no. Does that make sense? We're going to do this in relation to pricing. So this is why I just wanted to set the scene for those of you that haven't done this. I haven't done this before. So let me know in the comments if there are any issues with the muscle testing so I can guide you through with how to get it to work for you. 
And the, what I love about using muscle testing is it's a great way to flush out split beliefs because we can believe conflicting beliefs. We can believe two things. We'll be like, how is it that I believe both those things? We can believe, for example, I deserve to have 10K months consistently. We can also believe I am an un, unworthy and undeserving of having 10K months consistently. I am worthy of having 10K months consistently. I am unworthy of having 10K months consistently. And these, when we're having these split beliefs can mean that in one of our energy bodies, we're believing one thing and then in another, we're believing another thing. So this is where it's really key to know how to navigate your energy fields and to ask the right questions. So you can pull out the resistance and the reversed energy around this and the beliefs that aren't helping you in this case create what you desire but they have a frequency around them and the, an energetic imprint in, in in your field and so often I see people going oh well I've muscle tested I'm just I for example you know I'm deserving of having 10k months consistently nothing else for me to do and I'm like hang on a second <laughs> let's muscle test the opposite of that as well and just see if you've got that as well if you haven't fantastic but if you have then there's some work to do to start to to unpick all of that does that make sense And the split beliefs will create that resistance in terms of procrastination or just lack of motivation or lack of energy in, in taking action and doing something. And just to speak to the energetics, what's going on energetically here for a moment. So in energy psychology, there's three flows of energy. Think of reversals, resistance and receptive or the flow state. And so to briefly give you the description of these, so you've got this in your awareness, because I'm going to get you to muscle test on this in a, in a second, is we've got, think of energy reversals as describing the energy flowing in the opposite direction to, to where it would normally be. So when you've got an energy reversal, you can become stuck or feel like you're frozen in time in a particular way of being, so much so that it's literally reversed the flow of energy around that subject. So for our subject today, it's around pricing. But energetically, there's a default set point and the flow of energy is just moving away from what you want. So when you find yourself putting perhaps more and more time and energy into changing something. But you still feel like you're moving away from it or there's repeating patterns or you're feeling trapped in a holding pattern or a loop of. Ongoing limiting beliefs and behaviors, it's just taking you away from where you want to go. You've likely got some reversals at play. And energy reversals come from our experiences in the past where we've perhaps been shocked, traumatized. We just didn't perhaps have a coping strategy at that moment in time for that particular experience. And then this is imprinted and held in our subconscious, in our energy field. And so any time we have another circumstance that is connected to this in our subconscious, this energetic loop is re-triggered. Does that make sense? And then we have resistance. So this can feel like, I just describe it as feeling like pushing treacle up a hill. It feels really sticky. You're going in the right direction, but it's just really slow. And it can feel like it's this push-pull sensation. And this is where you can have those dual beliefs going on. Like I deserve to receive 20K and I'm undeserving of receiving 20K. And that creates that resistance. And our resistance is created through our identity, the resistant thoughts, beliefs, emotions, our past experiences, our current experiences, and the experience of reality through the feedback loop. So what we want to do is change this reversed energy, this, these resistances into the flow state, where we're open to receiving across all the different levels of our consciousness and our levels of energy. Because when we're in coherence and in flow, we've got more energy, we manifest faster, things feel easier, Truly, the easier it gets, the easier it gets. I'm excited to dive in because this is what I'm going to be doing with the Helix Method, creating the consciousness of our future self through our manifesting ritual. And we're going to be doing this together today. So what we're going to be doing with the first layer, just to speak to this for a moment, of dissolving resistance is obviously through our awareness. I know you all know that. Being able to observe like, hmm, <laughs> this is interesting that this has bubbled up. Of course, the resistance, it's not you, it's just a protection mechanism. And it can look like procrastination, distraction, disinterest. Have you ever noticed that suddenly, suddenly got not got the energy to do the thing? 
they could feel like you're ready to get out on marketing, but because you've not priced it correctly, suddenly you don't want to market it. So you feel distracted by something. Or you'll create some something that's confusing or overwhelm. So once we've brought it into our awareness, then the, the second layer of being able to dissolve this resistance and change these beliefs and to create more empowering beliefs is through our intention, creating through the power of our word, creating new thoughts, beliefs and emotions. So we're going to do this around your pricing. We're going to uncover and heal some of the money blocks to your pricing and increase the profit in your business. Does that sound good? So let me know. Are you ready to give yourself a pay rise to become aligned with increasing the profit in your, in your business? I'm going to guide you through this. We're going to do the Helix Method Manifesting Ritual together and uncover the hidden money blocks to pricing. Where energetically you're creating some stickiness in your human Wi-Fi, which is then just slowing things down and your success in your business. Every step of the way, my journey, I'm always finding beliefs, emotions and patterns that have been creating interference with my intentions and resistance bubbling up. And I, I know, I'm sure everybody here has got an example where they're like, ah, oh, my intuition said to do this. I didn't listen. When I haven't listened to myself and how my body is speaking to me and I've just taken that action that wasn't in alignment, it just hasn't produced the results that I desired. And I know that when I look back, you know, the, one of the big ones for me was one of my first business coaches that I invested in for my business. And I was dutifully just doing what I was told. It felt really wrong in my body. And it was early on in my business and I was investing large amounts of, of money in, in Facebook ads. And was, we were just all encouraged to do that. I hadn't mastered my messaging yet. Of course, you know, then you're just testing it all out on Facebook ads, which is a huge cost. And my body was saying, no, my head, my ego was saying, yes, that this is what everyone was doing. This is what the coach was doing. So I'm just going to do what the ego is saying instead of being energetically responsible for my 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 own results and really understanding what my gaps were and interpreting the coaching and adapting it and feeling what was in alignment to to who I'd be and recognizing where I was creating the resistances because I was contracted and then in that reversed energetic states and making the wrong decisions. Whilst it worked on a level, I was, you know, clients were finding me, we were creating over six figures in terms of revenue, it just wasn't sustainable in terms of that profit margin. So it wasn't aligned for me. So I was getting more and more contracted because the pricing wasn't right and the, and the profit margin wasn't right. Does that make sense? Have you recognized that if there's ever been moments in your business where the profit margin has changed and how has that energetically felt for you? And of course, in growth periods, the profit may go down as you're investing more. So because you're growing, there's peaks of growth and profit. But just paying attention at that moment in time is if you're contracting back because the profit is feeling out of alignment, what does the profit need to be for you to feel good in your body to be able to make decisions from a place of, of alignment and not contraction? That makes sense. So I just share that as an example of recognizing how the impact of all of this can show up in our businesses when we are not listening and using these techniques that I'm going to share with you today so that we can amplify and learn how to trust ourselves more, really understand and become aware of what is resistance and what is alignment so that we can make the right decisions for, for us. For me, the energy behind our decision making is absolutely key. Alrighty, so let's do this together. I've got everything I'm going to guide you through in a PDF download that you can keep. So I highly recommend printing this off. I'm going to just share the link in the in the comments. And I'm going to guide you through this. So this is Heal Your Hidden Money Blocks Guide. And you'll see in the guide that there are many hidden money blocks and patterns that are revealed and, and healed. Um, when I work with clients and each money block holds a complex cluster of beliefs, patterns, emotions across the different levels of consciousness, different levels of your human Wi-Fi. And the key is releasing these, these blocks, changing your relationship with your money and ultimately your identity so that you can 
break through the money ceiling and up level across all areas of your life. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to invite you to consider pricing and profit in your business through the lens of these money blocks. I'm just going to speak to them as you're finding the, the link and downloading this. So the first one is not enough, not enough self-love. I'm thinking about how this might relate to pricing and profit in your business. We all know that we are supposed to love ourselves. We know that it's good for ourselves. We know that we love ourselves on, on one level. However, the subconscious might reveal that there's some healing to do so you can just love yourself some more. But if you don't love yourself more, you may inadvertently feel unworthy or undeserving of receiving a certain amount of money and then create more work for yourself so that you deserve it. That makes sense. So just giving you this example, you can kind of see how this may show up. Not trusting yourself. So if you don't trust yourself fully, then this, is, this, this will show up in your business and it's going to impact your sales, your pricing. It's a biggie, this one, and sneaky. Whenever we've not followed through on our word, our subconscious is listening and believes you're not going to follow through in the future. And in addition, anywhere that we've had any previous financial trauma or goal trauma, this impacts our self-trust as well. Being able to trust yourself to hold the profit in your business, trusting yourself to deliver, require more at a higher level. And even on a daily basis, we can start to change this just by following through on the simple things that we say we do. So the daily tasks, we're building that trust in ourselves, that strengthens your vibration. And of course, trust is connected to self-love. If you love yourself more, you're like more likely to follow through on what you say you'll do. Give yourself permission to take action on, you know, what, what needs doing. Start to increase that self-trust. Here's one that can bubble up in relation to pricing as well. Feeling unsafe to be seen at the new level. Our subconscious is going to do everything it can to keep ourselves safe. Thank you, subconscious. But we can also have experiences where we have felt unsafe. And they bubble up as we're, our visibility is about to grow. So this can be ancestral patterns that come through energetically that we hold it can be experiences from childhood did you have were you ridic ridiculed at school perhaps for perhaps you had to do reading out loud in class and people giggled or something so you didn't feel safe to be seen public speaking and forgetting what you're saying I'll raise my hand for that one then what did you, what did that become? What did your subconscious make that mean about yourself? Perhaps you were judged by the mean girls or boys at school for essentially being you. Of course, we see that on TV. The bullying that goes on in the media for people being themselves and all the kind of drama that plays out. Our subconscious is watching and learning. So being seen can feel dangerous because we don't want to feel like we're not liked. And if we're not liked, we're going to be kicked out of the group. And I see this at every new level my clients hit. A new layer or hidden belief related to that will be revealed for healing. Reprogramming your energetic field to feel safe is so key so that our fears around visibility can, you know, they can be the hidden layers beneath our pricing blocks because we don't want to make the impact we desire because we're going to be seen more which is then linked to our revenue and our profit so there's many layers of this <laughs> is this resonating okay what about this one allowing the ego to lead so if we allow our ego to lead instead of our higher self-consciousness then our ego can make us want to push through to gr the growth we desire it was like in my example with the Facebook ads earlier. Instead of allowing in with the flow and following the bridge of synchronicities that opens up through the co-creation with the universe. This can create a lot of trouble and stress. That anywhere the ego is saying we should, we should price it at this or that, and we don't get ourselves into alignment first, that's going to create 
a lot of energetic resistance. What about this one? Judging the rich and famous. So what do you instantly think of when you hear someone has had more success beyond beyond their desires? Are there any just fleeting thoughts of resentment, judgment, hate? Your subconscious mind is going to keep you safe and not allow you to become something that you hate. And our subconscious is influenced by the media, social media, parental programming, government programming, society as a whole. What do the communities around you talk about in terms of people with wealth? The media, we love to put people on a pedestal and then bring them down. What do you, what flashes through your mind when you see other people's pricing? Do you judge others for their pricing? Do you ever hear a voice where you're diminishing the value without any conscious reason, where your subconscious is just bubbling up, giving you its best shot to keep you safe? Of course, we're not going to price it like that person's priced it because you don't want to be judged. Does that make sense? And then the sixth one is imposter syndrome. Have you found yourself resisting perhaps closing a big sale? not sending out that follow-up email that you promised to send out or sending out the email with the pricing, resisting sending it out. The person's asked for it and you're just resisting sending it out. Or perhaps you're feeling shame because your prices, you know, are higher than your colleagues or feeling shame for having more success than perhaps people who've started before you or perhaps having more exposure than you're used to. There's so many different ways that imposter syndrome can bubble up. This can raise its head as we up level and compare ourselves to others and then worry about what other people are thinking in relation to our pricing. I love our relationship with money. It just gives so many insights into just every aspect of life. How we do one thing is how we do everything. And so being able to heal our money story and expand our money consciousness, we really do then truly, you know, change our experience of life. Alrighty, so we've set some context for you. So start thinking about, okay, where am I at with my pricing? What are the kind of common blocks that can be sitting as layers behind the stories that I'm telling myself about why I've priced something the way I've priced? So we're going to find some hidden money blocks together now. Are you ready? So in the Helix Method, we use a range of energetic healing, energy psychology and manifesting techniques to expand your consciousness and to raise your vibration i'm going to introduce you to one of the techniques now we're going to use the muscle testing that i introduced to you earlier and then we're going to use the power of intention and invocation and breath work to transmute what isn't serving you in relation to pricing so that you can create the reality that you desire increase your prices if you would like to and become in alignment with that and so that you can increase the profit in your business so the technique is laid out in the Um, PDF document that's in the comments. And I'm going to guide you through it now. So what we're going to do is we're going to be, just to summarize it, we're going to activate your connection with your higher self so that we're bringing our higher self, conscious mind and subconscious into alignment for your manifestation. We're then going to focus on creating the consciousness of your future self. So this is where we're going to start doing the muscle testing to find out what are the hidden blocks. I'm going to guide you through this. I've got some phrases that I want you to muscle test. So I'll pop them in the comments. Keep your eyes on the comments uh, for when I share them. I'll speak them out loud for you as well, but I will pop them in the comments too. And then we're going to intentionally rewire what is not serving you anymore. So through the breath work and through the uh, releasing the transmuting statement, and I'll guide again, I'll guide you through that. We're going to do three together. Let that go. Change the frequency through the intention around that, bringing it to your awareness, creating as you speak. And then we're going to create that quantum coherence through imprinting and actually choosing some beliefs and creating those energetic structures of those beliefs within your energy field so that you've got that coherence and you're starting to change your frequency in relation to your pricing and your profit and then we have living in the energy the question so i'll talk you through how to do this this is where we're contemplating the question so that we're just not trying to answer it we're just asking the question great way i like thinking of it's like i've written the question down popped it on a post-it note and I've just handed it over to the universe to answer. So I'm just like letting it do its thing. The question's just there vibrating in my Wi-Fi um, and the universe is going to answer it. All then I get to do is to take action on the intuition, the synchronicities that come through. 
So I'm so excited to guide you through this. Are you ready? Let me know in the comments. And of course, if you're watching the replay and any questions come up, do pop them below and I'll circle back and uh, can uh, answer them for you. Alrighty, so are you ready? We're going to activate your connection with your higher self. So just inviting you just to take a moment just to close your eyes. To invite you to breathe in for four, hold for four and breathe out for eight. And just to do this three times, this is going to increase your life force energy. And as you're doing this, you're doing this, setting the intention that you're connecting in with your higher self. So just become aware about 18 inches above your crown, your soul star chakra, your connection to your higher self. And you might like to see this as a blue pearl. Just breathing in for four, holding for four, and breathing out for eight. And then you can affirm with me, you can follow along with me, this invocation. So speaking to all levels of my consciousness, I'm creating a clear channel of communication and manifestation between my subconscious, conscious and higher self. They're 100% connected and in perfect alignment and all working towards my highest path and purpose. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And from this space, now we have intentionally aligned the different levels of our consciousness so that our higher self can lead. I'm going to invite you to muscle test. We're going to muscle test on these statements in relation to the money blocks to see which ones you're holding. <laughs> so your energy body is going to respond as you say these out loud. A yes is typically a sway forward and a no is typically a sway back. In the PDF, you've got a little uh, infographic so you can see what that looks like. So as we do this, I'm just going to invite you to gather your thoughts and to think about your current prices, your desired prices for your program or your product. And we're going to muscle test in your current price and on your desired price if it's different. So I want you to muscle test on these beliefs. I've got quite a few here for you so that we can really start to flush this out. So I'm popping these in the comments. I'm going to speak to these as well. OK, so hopefully you can see those there. So standing up with your feet hip width apart, just taking a nice deep breath and breathing in for four, breathing out for four. And I just invite you to say each of these phrases out loud and just notice whether you go forwards or backwards and just to journal and make a note. So if you could just do like sentence one, I got a yes or I got a no, which is so that you just can make a note of it. And then the second one, got a yes or a no. Third one, got a yes or a no. So the phrases are my, and use the language that's relevant for you. So my program, Women Who Matter, whatever it's called, is great value at £20,000, whatever it is, for my clients who are X, Y, Z. And I just want you to do all of these and then we can go back and we can play what I call higher or lower to see where the resistance is. So we then move on to I'm grateful to receive current price X, Y, Z or whatever the name is of your product. Does this make sense? Let me know in the comments if this isn't making sense. So I can clarify it for you. Then I invite you to muscle test. We talked about energetic reversals. So this is where we can find out if there's any hidden energy that you're not consciously aware of that's creating some stickiness around you receiving that amount of money for that product, program, service, whatever it is. So you would say, I have an energetic resistance to receiving X, Y, Z, or X, Y, Z, and then you'll go backwards and forwards. So I have an energetic reversal to receiving X, Y, Z, I have energetic resistance to receiving X, Y, Z, go forwards or backwards.
I feel shame around my pricing. And I want you to do these, even if you're looking at it going, no, I feel great about my pricing. That's your conscious mind. We want to just see if there's anything energetically there around. Will your body tell you yes or no when you say, I feel shame around my pricing? I feel shame for charging more than others. I believe I can receive more than XYZ for name of your program product or service. I deserve to receive more than X, Y, Z, your name of your product, program or service. I am worthy to receive more. You can grab these from the comments below. If you're watching the replay, then just scroll through the comments so you can find my post where I've typed out these statements for you to muscle test so you can reveal some hidden money blocks around your pricing. I believe my clients will get the results they desire from X, Y, Z. We're holding that one. We can contract back and not price it appropriately because there's something around our own belief in relation to that. So we need to showing you to work on that so that you can bring yourself into alignment because is, is it really true <laughs> or is that your subconscious telling you a telling you a yarn <laughs> so that you don't charge what you deserve to charge I trust myself to deliver when my clients pay me xyz what about this one? I will be judged if I charge more for X, Y, Z. Obviously, fill in the blanks. It's appropriate for your business. Another one here, I want you to muscle test on. I have an energetic reversal to receiving more profit in my business. I have, an, I have resistance to receiving more profit in my business. I'm going to give you a moment to muscle test those. Let me know in the comments when you've done them or if you found one that's like, what? What have I got a yes on that? And then I'm going to guide you through changing the energy around this. I'll just give you a couple of moments to muscle test these. And of course, if you're on the replay, you can just press pause. Take a little bit more time if you need it to, to muscle test. And then press play again when you're ready to, when you've created your list of what we're going to release. So what I want you to do is to muscle test all of these so that you can find out what is hidden. Anywhere you have got, you muscle tested as resistance for your price point. I invite you to play with changing the price point so you can see where your body is saying yes to currently. So say, for example, the first one, my product or my program is great value at 10K for my clients or for whoever you use your who, however you would describe your who. So my product is great value at 10K. And let's say you've got a no on that. Then I want you to play what I call higher or lower. My product is great value at over 8K. See if you go backwards or forwards. My product is great value at over 12K. Again, see if you go forwards or backwards on that. So you can find out where your body is saying yes to. And if your pricing is different to where your body's at, that's where we've got some resistance. Your subconscious is saying, saying no for whatever reason to the cluster of beliefs, energies, experiences, all the things that you're holding in your energy field. And if you're desiring your program to be at, let's say, 10K and your body's saying 8K, 
then we can do the healing around that so that you can bring yourself into alignment with 10K. Does that make sense? Oh, yay! Had no shame. Yes, that's what I like to hear. Awesome. If you have got shame around your pricing, then we, no, we can change that. It's all good. We can change that. So this is just flushing out some of those hidden, hidden beliefs and stickiness. Alrighty. So, and as you're doing this, your subconscious is going to speak to you. So just notice as you're muscle testing, do you feel anything as you're doing this? Are there any sensations that come through for you? You may notice things as you're muscle testing these different statements or and in the next bit that we're going to do where we're doing the intentional transmuting and, and releasing of the, the, the energies and the beliefs around that. That makes sense? Alrighty, so now you've got your little list of the ones that are bubbling up for you. And note as well by your by your by your little list if there were any sensations that you felt or any images or memories that came to mind. This is important because it's your subconscious speaking to you. And then we're going to release this. I'm going to guide you through. So again, in the PDF, we've got the phrases laid out for you so you can follow along. I'll say these out loud so you can follow along and just breathe and say these out loud with me. I'm going to guide you through. So the first one we're going to do is just clearing any energetic reversals and resistances to receiving the amount of money that you want for the certain program. So I'm going to say receiving XYZ for XYZ because I don't know what the names of your products are or the amount of money that you want uh, for you know the, your pricing. So if you just fill in the blank <laughs> um, and then uh, I'll be able to guide everybody along together. Alrighty, so I'm going to invite you just to close your eyes and just to breathe in for four and then breathe out for four as you're bringing your heart into coherence. And we're going to say this out, we're going to say this three times, once out loud and then twice internally. And I like doing it like this so your body can hear your voice saying it, but then also your brain can hear yourself saying it internally because that's where we hear our monkey mind. Alrighty, so just taking a nice deep breath in for four, out for four. Saying this out loud, I'm ready to transmute this energetic reversal and resistance to receiving XYZ for XYZ. I release and transmute this from all dimensions, planes, times and all levels of consciousness taking a nice deep breath in for four out for four and then silently in your head i'll say it out loud so you can follow along i'm ready to transmute this energetic reversal and resistance to receiving xyz for xyz I release and transmute this from all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Again, just taking a nice deep breath in and out. For one more time together. So we're really focused with our intentions. We're changing the energy around this. I'm ready to transmute and release this energetic reversal and resistance to receiving X, Y, Z. Or X, Y, Z. I release and transmute this across all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Just breathing in for four, breathing out for four. Just notice how this is feeling in your body. Any sensations appearing to you? Any memories, images? And then we're going to do these two together. And of course, you can, I'll say these ones out loud. I'm going to do releasing being undeserving to receiving more than whatever the amount is for your program, product or service. And then we're going to do releasing unworthy. And of course, you'll have the, the flow around this after we've done this. So you'll then be able to press pause and do the other ones as well that have come up for you. Let me know in the comments which ones have come up for you for catching the replay. 
That would be great to know. Okay, so we're going to say this one out loud. <sighs> and then twice internally. So just taking a nice deep breath in for four, out for four. I'm ready to release. I'm undeserving to receive more than X, Y, Z. Or X, Y, Z. I release and transmute this from all dimensions, planes, times, and all levels of consciousness. And just breathing in for four, breathing out for four. So you're keeping your heart in that coherent, energetic state. And then I invite you to say this internally so you can hear this in your mind's, mind's eye. I'll say it out loud. I'm ready to release. I'm undeserving to receive more than X, Y, Z. For X, Y, Z. I release and transmute this from all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Just breathing in grace and love. Breathing out all energies that no longer serve. I'm going to do it one more time. I'm ready to release. I'm undeserving to receive more than X, Y, Z for X, Y, Z. I release and transmute this across all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Just breathing in for four and breathing out for four. Again, just notice how you're feeling. Any sensations in your body as energy is moving. And we do this for three times so that we're staying in that frequency and that t intention for 17 seconds or longer. So we're building up the energy around it. Okay, so let's do unworthy. We're going to release being unworthy to receive this amount, this price for your program, for your product. So a nice deep breath in, breathing in for four, breathing out for four. I'm ready to release. I'm unworthy. To receive more than X, Y, Z or X, Y, Z program, product. I release this and transmute this from all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness. And then just breathing in for four. Breathing out for four. And then internally, I'm ready to release. I'm unworthy to receive more than X, Y, Z, or X, Y, Z. I release and transmute this from all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Breathing in for four, breathing out for four. One more time, I'm ready to release. I'm unworthy to receive more than X, Y, Z, or X, Y, Z. I release and transmute this from all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Notice how you're feeling. If you have more to do and you're on the replay, now's the time to press pause so that you can do the other ones and let those go following along with the PDF. And then when you're ready, to bring in and create what you want to create, you can press play again and follow along. So we create that quantum coherence. This is where we get to imprint into your human Wi-Fi the belief, the thought and the emotion and the experience that you tend to bring yourself into resonance with. That new pricing, that increased profit. Alrighty, so we're going to do I am deserving and worthy to receive the amount of money that you desire to have for the programs. And think about, because our body needs to know what this feels like. I just invite you to take a moment. How is this going to feel in your body when you know that you've already, you've priced it at that price. You're receiving the money for that. The profit is in. What is that going to feel like in your body? Is it going to feel freer, more peaceful, more energizing? Perhaps you're going to be like, oh, I actually feel like I've got the capacity now to do this. I've got the energy to do this because I've, I'm in alignment with this pricing. I feel excited. I'm going to show up 120% because I've priced it at this price. So the phrase we're going to use is I'm worthy and deserving to receiving 
you know, 10K, 20K, whatever it is, for X, Y, Z. I feel excited. I feel happy. I feel free. I choose to receive this across all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. So I'm going to guide you through three statements. So we're going to do worthy and deserving. Then we're going to do, I know what it feels like to receive this amount of money. So just invite you just to very quickly make a note of, okay, what is the desired income that you have for this month? 100K, 10K, whatever it is. Just make a note of it so that when I'm guiding you through that one, you can fill in the fill in the blank with your amount of money that you want to bring in. Alrighty? Okay, so we're going to say it out loud once and twice internally. So just to bring into your heart into coherence, so breathing in for four. Breathing out for four. Start to fill up your heart with that feeling of love. Love for yourself. Love for your business. Love for your customers and your clients. And to say out loud, I'm worthy and deserving to receive X, Y, Z amount for X, Y, Z service, product, program. How do you feel? I feel so happy, grateful, energized. I choose to receive this across all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Just breathing in grace and love. Breathing out all energies that no longer serve. I am worthy and deserving to receive. Say this internally in your mind's eye. To receive X, Y, Z for X, Y, Z. Hear your inner voice saying, I feel so happy, free, energized. I choose to receive this across all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness. Just breathing in for four and breathing out for four. I am worthy, again internally, and deserving to receive X, Y, Z or X, Y, Z. I feel all the feels. I feel so happy. I feel free. I feel energized. I choose to receive this across all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Breathing in grace and love and breathing out all energy that no longer serves. Again, noticing how this is feeling in your body, how your body is speaking to you. And then we're going to do, we'll do one more. We'll do, I know what this feels like to receive, let's say, 100,000 this month or 10,000, whatever it is for your business. Just fill in the blank for you. I know what it feels like, say this out loud, to receive 100K this month. How do you feel? I feel empowered. Just allow yourself to feel it. I feel energized. I feel excited. I feel grateful. I've received this across all dimensions, planes, times, and all levels of consciousness. Breathing in grace and love. Breathing out all energies that no longer serve. Breathing in for four. Breathing out for four. Feel your heart filling up with more and more love. I invite you to say this internally in your mind's eye. I know what it feels like to receive over 100,000 this month, whatever it is for you. How do you feel? I feel empowered. I feel excited. I feel grateful. I've received this across all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Breathing in for four. Breathing out for four. And one more time. I know what it feels like to receive 100K this month. I feel empowered. I feel excited. I feel grateful. I've received this across all dimensions, planes, times, and all levels of consciousness. Really allow yourself to be in this frequency. 
Breathing in for four, breathing out for four. I invite you now to live in the energy of the questions. We're opening up the channels with this question. Whilst you're in the energy of this quantum coherence, I invite you to, and you can write this down, why is my profit growing exponentially daily? So we're asking the question from the place of we've already got it. This is the future version of yourself kind of going, gosh, this is amazing. Why is my profit growing exponentially daily? The universe will want to answer this question and show you the way. Why do large sums of money come to me so easily? And at this moment, if any ideas come to you, just make a note of them. If nothing's coming to you at this moment in time, it's absolutely fine. Just know that you might suddenly get a flash of inspiration when you're doing the washing up or something. Take action on that flash of inspiration. You've activated this. This is your higher self bringing you the guidance in of what to, the action to take that's going to collapse that timeline between now and your increase in profit. How are you all feeling? Let me know in the comments. I want to know who's going to raise their prices. Who has uncovered some hidden blocks around their pricing, their profit? And so we can anchor this in. I'd love to know what's been your biggest takeaway in uncovering your money blocks to your pricing so that you can increase your profit. Let me know in the comments. Of course, if you're catching the replay, we'd love to see that too. Because there's loads that we've covered so far. We've covered the energetics around limiting beliefs, blind spots and your identity that all go into how we lead as a business owner and price our products and services. We did a pulse check on where, where you're consciously at with your pricing, ascertaining on a scale of one to 10 with your alignment, with your pricing, your profit, your time, your balance, your capacity. Understood the energetics of identity and consciousness and how we create our reality. And we dived in and uncovered what was going on in your subconscious so we can start to heal the energetic blocks and change your human Wi-Fi, that frequency that you're sending out about your pricing so you can be more in alignment with your pricing so you can start to receive more profit in your business. Alrighty, thank you so much for joining me and for those of you that are joining on the replay as well. I'm really excited to hear what resonates. Let's do connect. You can drop me a DM and connect with me on Facebook. Would love to stay connected. I hope that this has served you. Would love to know who's feeling aligned with increasing their pricing and their profit. I look forward to celebrating your increase in your profit across your, your wealth, your time, your energy. It's been a complete joy to be here. I have gifts for you as well. So our PDF that guides you through healing your money blocks. The link again, if you haven't downloaded it, I will pop here for you in the comments. There we go. This is every step you need to change, take to change your energetic attraction point. And I'd love to invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is where we drop transformational meditations to support you in rewiring your consciousness and changing your vibrational attraction point. We share audio books um, read by yours truly and transformational content to support your conscious reality creation. And we've got an inner rewiring um, meditation techniques for, to support you in bringing in the amounts that you want to call in. So there's one for each level that you'll see. So I'll just drop, drop the link there for you so you can tune in. We just um, love you to subscribe to our channel so that, that way you'll know when we next have more meditations coming for you. And just wanted to give you a quick reminder as we wrap up, remember to get your backstage pass so that we can continue the conversation. You can come and hang out with all the speakers. We've had such an incredible day so far. We've had the incredible Wendy Poo sharing her wisdom on being an empowered business owner and how that changes your business. Be sure to tune in later today as my amazing mentor Jennifer Longmore is teaching you how to create a profitable client attraction ecosystem as a new world leader. And we have the awesome Gillian Maxwell revealing secrets of Google's free tool so you can maximize your business reach and impact. I will be tuning in alongside with you. 
And if you haven't already caught the speakers from yesterday, we, there was Hannah Walker sharing five keys to increasing your sales. Absolutely, absolutely phenomenal. Des Dobreva spoke of the power and importance of your brand. Guna Meldere on the magnetism of your storytelling. It's just so much uh, transformational um, work these speakers are sharing. And Alex Coward on collapsing times. So you can get more done. Yes, please. There truly is something each day to cover your priority area, you know, to help you move the needle in your business. So a big thank you again to Julie Brown for creating this amazing summit. Thank you to everybody for showing up for yourselves, for being here, for bringing all of your energy. And I look forward to connecting with you all and seeing you on the backstage uh, call as well. Thank you so much. Lots and lots of love.